Yo, what's going on? So today's video is about young men and relationships. And this one is one that was a real big feature for me as a young man and still is to this day, but I'm very much a different version of myself of, as compared to what I used to be as a young man in his 20s and even his teenage years. And I've gone through a lot of different versions to be able to get to where I am now in a very more secure place and more secure place emotionally, which I definitely was not when I was coming through my years. But this one I'm making for the young lads um, who are moving through, maybe you're moving through heartbreak, maybe you have it pending, it's kind of like you feel it's on the horizon, maybe like it's it's happening right now, or you're on you're sort of in the recovery stages of it and I feel as though a lot of blokes or a lot of guys don't really talk about this stuff because a lot of men want to suppress the feeling of heartbreak or they want to suppress the feeling of their ego being shattered or the sensitivity of a relationship with um, with women or with men whatever you're into and I feel as though it doesn't get spoken about enough and I'm cool to talk about it now purely because it has been one of the biggest needle movers on my progression and my development of myself. Because I'm specifically talking mostly about more ambitious young lads and, and men in general, not even young, or doesn't matter what age you are. But I'm more talking about the more ambitious ones who want a little bit more out of life. They're not they're not okay with just settling with stuff. They're they're more ambitious for wanting bigger things in their life. They want more money, they want higher status, they want they just want more a more of a um, a, a non a non conventional lifestyle, which is always what I wanted. And relationships were one of the things that really found me out because I was a chronic people pleaser. I was someone who wanted to do the most and be the most for every person that I met intimately. And I found that I was trying to be a version of someone that I thought a woman wanted and not who I was. And that only caused a lot of problems. And ego ruled my life in a lot of those ways. And I can talk about it more openly now because I feel as though I've moved into a position and a place through multiple heartbreaks, through multiple like painful situations that have brought me to where I am today. And it's really molded me and really shaped me to who I am. And if you're in that stage right now, I want to share a couple of things that might be helpful um, from man to man and from someone who's, who've, who's been there and done it before and who's gone on to other experiences that now I'm finding other things that I need to work on. But for the most part, a relationship will show you everything that you need to work on. It will show you every part of yourself that needs to have attention to be able to for you to progress. And usually that comes in the form of ego deaths. Usually it comes in the form of understanding your weaknesses, understanding your strengths. And I can categorically say, hands down, that heartbreak is and has been to this day the most painful thing for me I've ever experienced. I remember it took me down to the ground when I experienced my heart being basically shredded to pieces is what it felt like. And like... I don't say that lightly. Like uh, that is that is I, without a shadow of, the, of of a doubt the most pain, painful thing I've experienced, and I know what it feels like to go through that. So that's why I'm making this video. Here's what I believe about heartbreak relationships for men who are a little bit more ambitious, wanting bigger things out of their world, and uh, either experiencing it or going to. We need, and I say we as a generalization, to have our heart ripped out our ass a few times. It's just there is no easy way to say that. One of my mates put this so eloquently and he's he's in this space where he said that heartbreak is a man's spiritual gateway to enlightenment and to personal development and progression. And I couldn't agree with that more. And like I said before, like I mentioned before, it is one of the things, the heartbreak is one of the things that helps help let you see what you need to work on to become more of who you are and less of who you think you need to be. And that is so pivotal because like with ego, like literally ruling my life, I was trying to create a version of a, of a man that was an ideal. I was like trying to create this alpha male that didn't exist inside of me because I didn't believe it to start with. I just wanted to be it. So I tried to act it. 
And I got found out when I felt things inside of an intimate dynamic that just didn't align with who I thought I needed to be for somebody or who I thought I needed to be for a, an ideal partner that you know had all the, all the traits that I thought I wanted in a woman. And that led me down really dark paths. And so when I got to the point where I got into emotional like attachment for the wrong reasons, then it felt like in those dynamics that, and I'm sure you could attest to this if you're watching it, that that woman, the one that you're so attached to, is the only one in the world that will ever be right for me. She's the only one. I, I couldn't think of a more perfect partner and I must be with her. Otherwise, I am going to like die. Like the, this is this feels like death to me. If she doesn't want to be with me, the next text message that I receive is my heart like beating out of my chest and like I'm sweating and I'm anxious all the time about what she thinks. And if like if she says jump, I say how high, like all of those things. I went through all of that. And then when it eventually ended, like heart ripped out the, like it felt like someone got a hammer and smashed me in the rib cage until it, my chest opened. And then someone just stabbed me in the heart a bunch of times. Like it was the most excruciating thing. And I remember falling to the ground. Like it, that's what it felt like. And I'm comfortable to talk about it now because like it is, I needed that. I needed to be like heart treaded. I needed to have my ego stepped all over to show who I needed to become for myself so that I could attract the right person into my world. And it's, it's just a timing scenario. It had nothing like the other person and the other people in my lives, they, they were the perfect moments for me to be able to become. And if you're watching this and you're either you've gone through that or you feel you could or you're recovering from it, just realize how much growth is going to be in this. And like when I used to listen to like self-help stuff when I was, you know, in the in those stages of heartbreak, everything made me angry. I was just like, can you fuck off? Like you have no idea how this feels. Like, you know, stop talking about growth and how positive all this is. Like this is this is too painful to even deal with. Man to man, I, I know what it feels like. And it is something that you must go through. And you will see as time goes on that you must go through this. So just hold on to hope knowing this. Now, this is a time to be introspective. This is a time to be internal. This is a time to go inward. And your every fiber in your body wants to go outward and express and reach out to her and call her and text her and do all those things. If you have to do that, do it. But I am saying that it is not going to be the way forward for your recovery. It's not going to be the way forward for you to be able to move forward. The way forward is introspective. It's looking inside. There is something trying to tell you like why this had to end. There is something that had to has to tell you what you need to now work on as a man to be able to move to the next level, to be able to level up in a way that shows you more of your authentic self. That's what it's all about. If you are confident in who you are, if you can own who you are, if you can own your feelings, your emotions, all the things that you authentically are as a natural response to life, if you can own those things within yourself, that is the way forward. That is where you're going to attract the right type of person eventually. But it is a version of yourself that you haven't become yet, but you need to see through pain. That is the point. It's like running a business. You can't run and grow a business if you're not always learning and fucking up as you go. It's the same thing with relationships, the same thing with friendships. There's some kind of inevitable pain that comes along that we must go through to be able to move forward. And relationships are no different. They just hurt a bunch. And it's one of the most, it, it, it has been for me the best teacher of all things because now I have the understanding. It doesn't mean that it hurts less, but now I have the understanding that what is this relationship or what is this dynamic trying to teach me about who I am? And how do I show up in the most authentic way possible to be able to get the most out of that dynamic? And you'll see if it's right for you or not. You'll be able to feel that, but you must go through the heartbreak stages. That's basically all I wanted to say on that. I, I think that I, I feel for you if you're going through it. If you have been through it, you know what I'm talking about. And I think that most people have, but I think it is so necessary. It will make you the most the best and the most enlightened version of who you are if you're able to really own the things that you are, the, the, the real authentic things that you are. I think the thing that I had to own that I didn't want to was how much of an empathetic and sensitive 
emotional person that I am, but I realized that is actually my strength inside dynamics. That is not a weakness. I took it as a weakness this whole time. If someone saw that I was emotional, I was like, oh, I can't let them see it because if they do, they think I'm weak. When it's actually the exact opposite. That is my superpower. That is my creativity. That is the thing that makes me so likable by the right type of person. That is the thing that makes me empathetic towards other people's feelings. That is the thing that is able to take stock of dynamics that allow people to be seen, felt, heard, because I am good at being intuitive. And I always took that as something that was the wrong thing. I use it in business to this day. I know when my clients need something. I know when people in my world that are important to me need something. And so you need to understand the person that you are is the thing you need to show up as. And it doesn't mean, it, like, because I'm sensitive, it doesn't mean that I have to be vulnerable in every single conversation that I have. You learn how to control who you are based on the things and the responses that you get from certain dynamics. And so this is a call out to you to really own yourself and your authenticity. The man that you really truly are gets shown in these dynamics. And man, I feel for you. I, I see you. I understand the feeling. And like, if you need to comment on here or you need to message me, DM me on Instagram or something, like, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I hope this was somewhat helpful. Um, and I hope this was something that uh, really helps you stick in there because it is a, it's a rough one. Um, and uh, yeah, if there's any discussion you want to have about this sort of thing, I thought like from the last podcast I had, if you haven't watched it, it's about it's like emotions and men and, and dynamics from with, um, with my best mate, Curtis. And we speak a lot about this, um, about how we deal with emotions now as, as I hate this word, but it's like, it's like, it's like this whole stigma around like alpha males and all this sort of stuff ever since the Tate brothers came out and saw this bullshit. And it's kind of like, like there's a lot of things that I actually do agree with inside of that, but it's kind of like as a modern, as a modern man these days, it's like, it is difficult to navigate a lot of these dynamics because of the messaging and, and, and so much that's out there. And we speak a lot on that. And I want to do more of that on here because I think not enough of it is spoken about, or maybe I just don't watch enough social media, to be honest. I try to stay away from it, but I just try and be as creative as I can to speak about this stuff so that it helps maybe the next the next person. If it helps one person, that's fucking awesome. Like that's all I'd ever expect. So anyway, um, I'm going to get on with the rest of my day and I hope this was helpful. Reach out if you need to. Cheers.